I'm doing a March favorites video. I kind of don't know what I'm doing at all, but I picked things around my house that I like in March. Um, is it April? It's April 2nd. Yeah, so in March, but it's usually like every month kind of, so I'm going to figure out how I can get more stuff. I don't like buy a lot of stuff. So I sort of shop my collection, so everything that is my favorite, um, I already own. So, especially with makeup, um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to just get started here because I don't really know how this is going to end up. Okay, oh, and you may be asking, why are you wearing a jacket and a scarf? Hmm, yes, good question. That's because um, I'm going to unravel as I go, and I'm just going to take it off as I go. Hopefully, all of my clothes are not my favorite because <laughs> that's going to get flagged by YouTube. So my first favorite of March is this scarf, um, and it's by Madewell, and it looks bad right now because I have on this like puffer coat sleeveless, and um, it just, I don't wear a scarf with the coat like this, but... With a regular shirt, it looks really nice. And um, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's like really pretty, and it was on sale. I said it was from Madewell, right? It's from Madewell. And um, it's purple with like white and black and like a peach coral color in it. And it's also a maroon, kind of. And it was the most unique scarf I've like ever seen because you just don't usually find these colors together. Or I usually don't find these colors um, together. And... Yeah, I wear it, it's sort of like pointy down at the end, you know, it's a scarf. Um, and it's definitely not a scarf to keep warm necessarily, but it is just sort of like an accessory scarf because I have scarves that keep me warm and they look like I have a neck brace on, so yeah, this is not one of them. Now I'm going to take this off and go to my next favorite, which is this little puffer coat thing. Um, it's sleeveless. And fun fact, I actually won this from the Jack Wills Facebook. I know, crazy. Um, I won it, I think, last year? Yeah. And I wear it all the time because now it's in that, like, we're in that weird stage where it's not super cold, but it's not super hot. Especially, like, if the morning starts really cold, but then by the end of the day, or, like, the middle of the day, it's really hot. So I have no idea what to wear, and I'm either freezing cold in the morning so I have to bundle up, or, you know, by the end of the day, I'm sweating because I have Uggs on and a full coat, but then I don't want to wear less clothes because in the morning I'll be freezing. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? Well, the answer is get a coat, but without the sleeves. So that's what I've been wearing a lot. And um, I like wearing this because I'm able to wear, like, bracelets and stuff with it, and it doesn't get all, like, stuck on my coat cuff, which is so annoying. So I don't like winter very much. Can't do anything with it. And I wear like the same things every day in winter. I wear Uggs and a coat and jeans. Not exactly that much fun. But yeah, this is, it's a dark green. It's got a blue, the blue Jack Wills um, logo. And yeah, I really like it. It's got the hood. I'll put it on. Why not? I'm going to wear this the whole video because it's just so comfortable. So this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to keep this on, but yeah, I highly recommend um, a coat like this that has no sleeves. Like a vest. It's a vest, right? Okay, my next favorite is, um, the little thing broke off, but that wasn't my favorite part of this anyway. This is um, a perfume by Victor and Rolf called Flower Bomb, and it's amazing. People, listen up. This is amazing. It just smells so good, and I don't know how to describe it. It smells like... It smells like a really good perfume. So, you know what that smells like, right? That'll be easy to pick out. My next favorite, speaking of amazing smelling things, is this Lush Soap. Oh my gosh, this is, it's, it smells so good that it like makes me want to laugh because it's almost like, like seriously, like this is, this is a thing that like exists because I can't even describe to you how good it smells. Like I want to slap myself in the face, that's how good it smells. And I write to Lush on their Twitter begging them to please make this into a lotion or something, anything, anything. I'll like... Anything that I could just keep this with me, 
maybe they could like put this on like a rope and it goes over your ears and it just hangs in front of your nose so that I can just smell it all day. I don't care if I lose friends. If they don't want to be friends with me after that, I didn't want to be friends with them anyway. So, oh, it smells so good. So this is, anyway, I didn't even say what it was. Lush Honey I Wash the Kids Soap. If you haven't smelled Honey I Wash the Kids Soap by Lush, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Nothing is better than this. Actually, Porridge by Lush might be better than that. Um, I can't decide if Porridge Soap is my favorite or Honey I Wash the Kids Soap in terms of the smell. The actual soap, um, the, uh, the, what it's used for, um, I like Honey I Wash the Kids better because it's softer and it's more moisturizing and stuff, but the Porridge is like an exfoliating soap and it kind of hurts <laughs> when I use it. I definitely have like red lines all over. Um, doesn't last though, but just for a second it's kind of like, ooh, that's not good. So, but it smells amazing, so it's worth it. Like, it's worth it to have weird red lines on you. My next favorite is this lip gloss, Sephora brand Glossy Gloss in Pink Macaroon, number 11. Um, and it's so good. Um, it smells just like bubblegum. It really smells like bubblegum. So good. And um, I love the name of it, Pink Macaroon. And it's just a pretty um, peachy pink color. It's like a light pink color. And... It works all the time. Like, it never doesn't work. Um, you just want something to put on, and this will go with anything that you're doing with your makeup that day. Um, and the consistency is really good. It's really smooth. It's not sticky. It lasts a long time. And, you know, it's in a nice little tube. Um, actually, this is what it looks like, because you don't have to, you know, put the thing in and then, like, put it on. Um, you just, like, squeeze it out of there, which I really like. Um, so the packaging's great, the smell's great, the consistency's great, the color's great, um, and I think this was like, it wasn't expensive. It might have been like $10 maybe, or $8. And, I mean, compared to what, like, drugstore stuff is, you know, it's really not that much money, um, compared to that. My next favorite, I think this is my last favorite, maybe I can find another one, because I feel like I don't have enough. Okay, let me see what's in my bag. So what's in my bag video? Um... Altoids. Peppermint Altoids. That's a favorite, I guess. It's always a favorite. Um, oh, have I done this? Maybe I will. I got this wallet. Um, it's gold, and it's really pretty, I think, in my opinion. Um, and it's from Sea Wonder. Yeah, okay, this is going to be a favorite. Yeah, I'm going to make it a favorite. Um, it's from Sea Wonder. And it's got, you know, just like a little gold thing. Um, the logo is, is this upside down? I think it's like that. Um, the logo is a gold shiny thing, and the rest of it's sort of like a matte with a little bit of a shimmer, kind of. Does that make sense? It's not makeup. I don't know why I'm describing it like it's an eyeshadow, but it kind of does look like an eyeshadow. Um, it's just like a nice gold. And I got this for like 20 bucks, guys. It was on sale from like 70, and I got it for like 20 bucks. That's awesome. Especially since I was like eyeballing Michael Kors wallets, which are not 20 bucks. Um, so this was a steal. And I've gotten comments on this from, like, cashiers, and they like it. I just saw my iPod, so I'm going to add in a song of the month. And it's going to be for this month. This would actually be more fitting for, like, an April favorites, because I really only started listening it, to it, like, a lot in April. But I'm just going to put it in anyway. Um, Suit and Tie by Justin Timberlake. Love that song. I really do. Um, okay, my last favorite, which is like an epic favorite. Guys, I'm serious. Nobody has this in their favorites video. I bet you a million dollars. So let me know if anybody has this in their favorites video on YouTube. Anywhere on YouTube. They don't. This is a, as I awkwardly scoot back, um, this is a Back to the Future sweatshirt. How amazing is that? And the bottom has a sh like stripes across the bottom and across the top, and it just makes it like so much cuter. And I got that from ASOS.com, which has awesome stuff. I have multiple things from there. Another favorite, while I'm thinking about it, are makeup tutorials because I did one, and then I did one today of this eye look, which is like a winged liner, um, and. They're a lot of fun, and I really like them, so I'm going to keep doing them. I think I'm going to do them once a week. 
So that's it for my favorites video. Um, hope you liked it. Hope it was interesting. Um, I'm gonna have to like find stuff during the month because I use the same things. Like I wear the same makeup every day, so I'm gonna have to like do more, shop through my, you know, collection, if you will. I don't collect makeup, but I'll I'll look through what I do have and I'll see if maybe I can pull some things out every month and use them more. Um, so that's it. Uh, please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.